don't go uni, don't go uni, don't go uni. They said, well, what do I do instead then? I said, learn from me. <laughs> he said, oh, okay, so what do I learn? So you can join. English language Hello and welcome to Education Learning Teaching Under the Covers React Series where we teaching professionals look at the good, the bad and the ugly of the teaching clips on the internet and we give our professional opinions. Uh, today we are looking at Andrew Tate's Hustlers University. Welcome to Hustlers University. But first, introductions. I'm Neil of Team Teacher. Hello everybody, it's Professor Rich. Andrew uh -huh. Tate, AKA, uh, where, where's my notes? The top G, King Cobra, uh, among one of his uh, other names. Uh, what, what do you know of him? Firstly, I am um, Andrew Tate. Yeah. Lord so, of all beasts um, of the land and fishes in the sea, I know everything. What I say is gospel. Be careful here. This is a bit spicy, isn't it? This is, this is probably one of our spicier big, episodes, yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of spicy topics, but we're really, we're flying pretty close to the sun now, I think. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Tate, let's see. Um, okay, so there's this th there was this thing, wasn't there, that was very popular a uh, long time ago. Long, long time ago. It's like we're like old men now. Um, <laughs> very popular about 20 years ago called like The Game, right? That book by Neil Strauss or whatever he's called. Oh, yeah. It yeah popularized yeah. this community of uh, PUAs who taught people how to PUA. talk to women and stuff. Yeah. And um, my understanding of Andrew Tate is he is kind of um, a sort of modern extreme version of that. Um, except not only does he try to teach men like how to pick up girls or whatever, but he also sort of teaches them <laughs> his perspectives on men and women and the kind of gender relationship and his sort of ideas about how men and women should I don't know if I'm, I'm kind of just guessing here. I, I've never really watched his stuff. And I think that his views on this are somewhat disagreeable for most people. Okay. Um, some people might call them old fashioned. I'm not quite sure if that's the right term though. I think, I think they actually are modern ideas, but expressed in a uh, modern ideas, but sort of ex extreme modern ideas um, that some people find hard to digest. I don't know if that's fair. I mean, I don't, I've never watched the guy, so I, I, no, I don't know if that's fair. The yeah. only thing I've ever watched of him is he, he did this, um, uh, I think Greta Thunberg said something about him. And uh, he did like a response video to it uh, in like a dressing gown with a cigar. And, uh, you know, I watched that because it's funny. And he's just there, he's there, he like smokes the cigar and then he like shows a bit of his chest out the dressing gown. Just, just like casually while he's talking, he's like, Greta. Like just kind of, it's just it's really cheesy, but well, it's funny. So um, what? He was revealing himself to uh, a. <laughs> how old is she now? <laughs> she's she's like, she's like nineteen. I, 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 I'm she's aware. An, she's an adult. I'm aware of I mean, this clip. I don't, I don't think. I didn't he get he, arrested he it, he, just he after? He does it in a way. He's kind of like it, itch, itching his pectoral. You know, he does it like really casually, but it comes across it. It's like, it comes across as like, what the hell's he doing? Um, but he just does it. He's just he, he kind of exudes confidence, doesn't he? Almost arrogance, maybe some people would say. But um, yeah, he see, he just seems mad because he used to be a fighter, didn't he? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah that's what I've heard. Yeah. And I think those those fighter guys, like they do, you know, they have to be really self assured. I mean, Joe Rogan as well, right? They get really self assured and. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, he just he has he, he kind of oozes confidence, and uh, it's funny. It, it was funny watching his video. Yeah, oh yeah, that was the other thing. He had a big he had a pizza box of pizza in front of him. And he was like eat, he was like eating the pizza and He's smoking the cigar. It's just the whole thing, you know, with like this Playboy Mansion like dressing gown on, you know, just the whole image was just absurd, but also kind of um, mesmerizing as well, you know. Mesmer so that's the that's my experience of of Mr. Tate, and I also know. He's currently, he's currently in a holding cell in Romania about trafficking. Is that 
tra- uh, for tra- oh uh, for um tra- tra- few, tra- 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 trafficking girls I was <laughs> like been, yeah, traffic violations so they don't like it I said what color trigger guys of trafficking girls and there's some controversy over it I think where I think the accusations I I haven't heard the accusations I haven't read the news articles either but I've heard people talking about it saying that it's um, been very sensationalized uh, so it's very difficult at this point to know really what's going on but obviously there's a lot of people who want this guy's blood because he's so controversial and he's a bit of a dick uh, you know he comes across like a dick so I think a lot of people kind of want to see him uh, you know hit the ground hard uh, and because of that it's all super sensationalized and at this point I don't think we really know if he's innocent or guilty or whatever, really, it's all just celebrity nonsense, isn't it? So that's it. That's my. That's that's what I know about Andrew Tate. Okay, so from the picture you paint, it kind of sounds like he's a a a, a fighter stroke hitch wrapped up as a pimp, <laughs> something like that. Uh, I, I mean, I, I I'm very similar. I just you know I see the headlines. Um, I eat occasionally pops up on my feeds uh, and stuff because you know I, I watch a lot of old wrestling clips so they're like look here is another man he's shirtless uh, he's muscly and he's smoking cigars and shouting at the camera are you sure you don't like this are you sure and i'm like no i, I, I don't that's know that's weird <laughs> so just because you watch like wwe it shows you like his like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I know he. he... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because you know, okay. yeah. Uh, and whenever I've seen him, he, he the staging looks like um, like like some sort of promo, like he's doing a promo or something like that. Mm. But uh, that yeah. is definitely intentional, isn't it? Yeah, he lo- he definitely does it like, everything like a wrestling promo. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, um, so. Uh, he seems to have a lot of businesses um, uh, uh, apart from, um, you know, uh, the pimping, the pimping life. Because it ain't easy. It ain't easy. Pimping ain't easy. Pimping ain't easy. And um, uh, what, what, yeah, one of his other things that he does apparently is, is teach, uh, teach people. Uh, stuff and he's got Hustlers University, which is a university for hustlers or to teach to become hustlers. What, the, what does not, that mean, though? Hustler. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. You know, like when you when you see these courses like video courses or websites or whatever they normally have like an introduction where they're like this is what we're going to do in the course or you know they give definitions right at the beginning of like what it means to be uh uh, like english language speaker level whatever or to be uh good at this blah 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 um so that's what i'm hoping for um and then we will we'll we'll take it from there we'll comment we'll let people know what we think is educational uh professionals um you know if if he's doing a good job less focus on you know the actual what he's spouting out but more just kind of on his techniques and stuff but but yeah yeah yeah, i know well well, okay yeah Yeah. So so we're watching kind of the intro video for his thing this is the uh the very first video so what i'm expecting uh, is some sort of uh introduction uh, kind of like what we're going to cover um you know okay. who am i i don't know right. this is kind of the, the standard maybe we'll do something yeah cuz like hustling i thought like hustling means like tricking people to give you their money yeah <laughs> <laughs> wasn't it like it was the old word for like you pretend that you're shit at pool and then you yeah, like yeah, say yeah, okay let's put 20 quid on it and then you clean up the table right yeah yeah i don't i i, I honestly I, I don't know i don't know but um <laughs> you know this is this is his educational product we look at educational <laughs> videos and then react to them so we'll, we'll do that <laughs> okay all right all right brilliant uh, so are we are we, oh, I'm, are we getting... I'm ready Right, okay. Is your body ready? My body is ready for this. Um, wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that 
was it. That was basically <laughs> it. It was basically it. Yeah. It was like that, but kind of like a side scratch. And just at the same time, he kind of like, yeah, it was, it was so cheesy, though. He has to be. I don't even know if it was that deliberate. It was kind of like his subconscious. He's kind of so tuned into what his conscious wants that he's kind of like all hustle. Anyway, let's, let's see what this guy's all about. <laughs> Welcome to the smartest decision you've ever made. I thought he was British. Smartest thing you've ever done. If you're sitting there wondering, you should already know. Wait. If you're sitting there wondering. Hmm, is this he's kind of got a mix, hasn't he? What is he's it? Just like, uh, sitting. Sitting. Sitting? He sounds but like he's, he says, he's from Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't, and I don't have the sound on my feeds and stuff, so... Alright, yeah, no, sorry, it's, yeah, it's gonna, not what I expected. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, not what I expected. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat. Uh, right, so he was born in the United States, but uh, he's, he's down as British American social media personality, so he must either have uh, American... Uh, sorry, British parents, or maybe he was... He was raised. Uh, his mother brought the both brothers back to England. Uh, right, okay, How so, old though? Uh, <clears throat> it just says after his parents divorced. It doesn't actually say when, but they were. They must have still been kids. Interesting. So I've uh, had I've had friends that have like moved to America, and you know, like when they were young, you know, like fifteen, sixteen. And they do develop an American accent, but it's normally not. Um, I've not. I found that it's not a mix. You know, like they switch between it, like they code switch. You know, like they've yeah. got the the British one and then the uh, the American one. So maybe it was it was kind of yeah. a bit younger, and uh, so he's got this yeah this Michigan part. Yeah, maybe like sort of ten or something. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, actually, the fact that he went through a divorce at that age could explain some of his interesting opinions as well. <laughs> uh, but, well, my 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 uh, my parents got divorced when I was about ten, eleven, and uh, I think it's the worst possible age to go through it. Oh shit! I think if you I think if you're older, I think if you're like eighteen or something like that, you can deal with it. Yeah. And I think if you're younger, I think if you're like four or five, you know, or younger, then yeah. you know, whatever. But I think yeah, ten, eleven. Uh, it does. It is. It's messy. It's weird. There's kind of weird subconscious stuff that you can't even put your finger on why. Yeah. But anyway, all right. Let's carry on. Let's see what this guy's got to say. It's gonna be worth it or not. Buckle the fuck up. This is the smartest thing you've. Okay, we're censored on YouTube already. <laughs> this is the first time, besides the PhD course, where I'm gonna lay down all of my knowledge in the world about, about a particular subject. Okay. The PhD course. There's a PhD course. <laughs> he does a doctorate. <laughs> oh my god! Could you imagine five years of this or f three years, whatever? What's your doctorate in? Hustling. That'd be that'd be hustling. <laughs> what was your thesis? <laughs> Pimping. <laughs> well, it was quite it was quite interesting then because he said he's going to lay down all his knowledge about a particular subject. So what is this particular? Yeah, subject? yeah, yeah, yeah. PhD course was girls. This is going to be about business. Everything oh, okay. Oh. There we go. So the PhD course was girls. Okay, okay. But this is going to be about business. Oh well. I guess I wasn't I, wrong yeah. with the thesis. So. Yeah, I mean, my business skills suck, so I'm, I'm I want to learn to hustle. Making money. So the way this came around was I was convincing yet another person from Oxford University. I have convinced <laughs> well. Like Wait. Actually, I often say the biggest mistake people make in their lives is traditional education. It's a waste of time. It's a scam. And I always tell people why it's a waste of time. Why it's a scam. Like there's the double inflation principle that I coined myself, the fact that more degrees exist every year, which inflates them because they're less valuable because more exist. Plus the price goes up every year, which means it's less valuable because it's more expensive. If more exist, the price should go down. Scarcity and value are linked, but there's some kind of double inflation that goes on with education, which is propagated by the mainstream think tanks because they want to put you in there and they want to brainwash you. Whoa! <laughs> some here. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, we are we are pretty uh, anti-establishment in terms of the way that universities peddle education uh, and you know their their uh, stand and deliver style of chalk and yeah. talk. So you know, right. I, I'm I'm not sure how far I would go that far, uh, but. Well, I think it does make a good point, though, this double inflation thing. I mean, I do, I kind of, it's weird because I do think it's a rip-off. But on the other hand, I see the appeal as well. I mean, I often consider myself doing another master's or a PhD or something. And 
even though you know i do yeah i do think it's i think the teaching's awful i think it's a rip you're paying for the prestige of a piece of paper well it depends <clears throat> on what you're doing you know like if you're doing um like some sort of arts and humanities maybe you don't need a doctorate in that um but you know like if you're doing engineering uh, or, or you know um something in medicine uh then you know mm. i'm i'm i if i go to a doctor I want that person to be a doctor. <laughs> you know, I want to. I want some sort of uh, accreditation so I know that they've been through a certain regimen of education because I'm handing my life over to them. Basically, um, I wouldn't want yeah. someone that's got. Oh, I've done an online course. Uh, yeah, let let me stick this up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you Perhaps. know, I I think. Yeah, yes and yes and no. Um, uh, there's definitely a lot to be had from education from uh, YouTube and um, uh, other online resources that are free, the, the internet, basically, uh, for a lot of stuff. Um, mm. Yeah, I'm not sure how that applies to double pleasure, but yeah, uh, I'll, I'll hear anyone out. So let, should we keep should we keep going? I'm going to put you in there and I'm going to turn you into a pussy. I will actually teach you anything that's useful. Just turn you into a little worker drone. Nobody goes to university and leaves knowing how to get rich. And if you look at all the richest people in the world or all the most successful people, they'll say, I didn't go to school. Or I quit university. I dropped out. Because you're not learning anything about getting rich. But, okay, uh, so that's, that's, you don't go to university to learn rich. You go to university to learn skills and to acquire knowledge, right? It, right. Yeah, no. yeah. Yeah. So I mean, in some ways, I guess we we could agree with him there. And I, the thing is about about the double inflation thing. I actually, I just, I kind of do agree with him about that. You know, more and more people get them, the price goes up. So it's kind of annoying because when more people have degrees, they work, they should be worth less. But also, people are paying more for them. So you know, you're getting hit twice with it. I agree with that. But then this bit, where he he kind he makes what well, I'm not sure what the right word is there. I want to call it a false equivalency, but I don't think it is that. Well, you, t you said um, rich people, you know, lots of successful and rich people say they didn't they didn't go to university, they didn't go to college. Some of them dropped out of school. Uh, that's true. <clears throat> and there's a lot of them. But what you have to realize is there are factors here which we can't control. So it's not all about um, learning skills and working hard. That Obviously, learning skills and working hard is really important. But there are also natural aptitudes that people have. And many of the people who really made a lot of money on their own, um, you know, uh, Donald Trump and, um, uh, you know, the, uh, Richard Branson and stuff like that, um, you know, these people who, who, di who didn't go to university and, and did drop out and stuff, um, you know, it's, it might be a little bit controversial to say this, but they, but they have a very high IQ. They're like, and, and they have very good social skills. So they grew up early life in a very sociable environment and they're really clever. And um, I know people think Trump's stupid. He's not stupid. He's, he's really smart. He just speaks. He speaks like he's stupid. That's kind of deliberate. Um, you know, they, these, these guys, they learn things mega fast. They understand that, you know, they kind of see through social situations. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they look at a room and they can kind of read the room and do appropriate things to, to sort of get what they want. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can become mega successful businessmen because of that, because they've got that acumen, you know, and um, you might be able to learn some things to help improve that. But I think it, I don't think it's right to say that, you know, every, everyone can be that you can't. So encouraging people to drop out of school at like 16 because they should be like Richard Branson or whatever. It's it's a bad idea. Well, I mean, you got to think as well, you know, he's. If you say, oh, well, you know, there are many um, millionaires that have dropped out of school. And we're like, yeah, all right. Maybe there's 1% of people that have dropped out of school become millionaires. But we don't know about all the people who have dropped out of school and didn't become millionaires. Because you know what? They didn't become millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So no one knows what about, about, what about them. All the, all the people who dropped out of school and cleaned the bogs. <laughs> 
Yeah, I know. Like, you, you probably there's probably a higher percentage of those people than they are than there's yeah than they become one percent. But no one's like yeah, drop out of school because and become a bulk cleaner like like I did. Nothing like there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but you know, conversely, you can say the same for people at university. You know, there's all these people who went to university and you know, or this percent became millionaires. But then you know, a good majority of people that go to university don't become millionaires so it, it's yeah i the the logic is a little bit off but um yeah it's off yeah, yeah. i he's, he's, i, I want to i want to get into i want to get into his teaching i want to yeah. see he's, he teaching. still seems to be selling at this point doesn't he it's like he's still selling yeah he's like come on this is my course <laughs> you're sitting there just being brainwashed it's bullshit so when i was sitting there saying to this person don't go uni don't go uni don't go uni they said well what do i do instead then I said, learn from me. And he said, oh, okay, well, what do I learn? So you can join the war room, you can learn there. Da, da, da. So, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll join. What's so the war else. room? Join the I, I, I war guess, room. I would guess that it's like a forum. Oh, like uh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, would, I, I would say so. He's come up with a fancy <clears> name for it, the war room. Uh, he's still selling. And it's it's, ne it's, uh, it's never like, a, come through the... the, the, the the tea room, you know, have a have a cup of tea, and uh, we'll have a we'll, room. the natter room or something like that. It, it's it's always the 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 destruction <laughs> den. Yeah. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's true. All right, cool. All right. My own university. I'm going to give people a genuine option, a genuine alternative to mainstream education. I don't know about you. It's so funny, isn't it? Like hearing he's American and British. He's like, you know, he's like um, one moment. He's like, um, he's like got this like American intonation. Oh, no, 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 no. And then he's like, alternative. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like, um, yeah, man, we're gonna... I want to give you an alternative. <laughs> all you, all you effing whatever. Uh, and <laughs> whatever. then wh whatever. And, uh, Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I, I, actually, I feel I feel pretty bad about that because you know my accent moves between. Uh, Ravy. Yeah. It's Your terrible. accent moves. Not my much. not that much, but you know. I guess you've lived in Canada for a while now. Yeah, it's been like oh. a while. It's, yeah, Cumulative, so what, like seven, bit. seven years or something like that. I got mocked when I went back to the UK. Uh, when I went really? back to yeah, when I went back to my sister's wedding, and uh, yeah. I can't remember what word was it. Oh, oh I think I said like conjuring, conjuring, because I was telling them about the movie. Conjuring, and and right. and they're like, don't don't you mean conjuring? Don't you mean conjuring? <laughs> <laughs> you can't even speak English. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I, I feel you I feel your pain, Tay. I feel your pain. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. But me personally, all I ever want to do is get rich. I didn't give a fuck if I got rich breaking rocks or got rich being a professional fighter. I didn't care. I want to fight. I was not fighter. passionate about some business. I was passionate about money and money money only. So if you join this course. So if you join this course, I'm taking your money. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. If you join this course, if you're watching the course, you've joined the course, no? Really? Are you sure this isn't like a pre, or maybe this is like a free? No, 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 no. This is the first. Oh. This is the first oh. one of like whatever. Okay. Uh, eight, I think it was. All oh, right. Um, interesting. That's a bit odd, then. Yeah, because he still sounds like he's selling. And also, it's. I just find it so weird to, for someone to say. All I care about is making money, but you can trust me to teach you some stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like if all you care about is making money, then surely you just want to take my money? Yeah. <laughs> but okay. Learn how to run a business and get rich. Congratulations. You're about to learn a whole bunch of shit. All right. Let's go. I do like <laughs> talks. I mean, I it is. I'm it's like pro wrestling. Fan. It's pretty funny. To be honest. It's yeah, and 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 to be honest, you know, I I like people who can use swear words well. 
Yeah. Uh, you know, like just not. I mean, some people would say he's using it kind of like a like a Ramsey esque kind of character. Yeah, it's I don't know. It's entertaining the way he says it because he's just <laughs> he's just talking. You don't expect it, and then suddenly he's like. And that's fucking shit, you know. And you're like, oh, <laughs> good timing, <laughs> you know. Yeah, some people are just, yeah, it's uh, interesting. You're gonna find out during the length of this presentation. This is no nonsense, no fluff, <clears throat> no doubtably the hardest. He just spent two minutes giving us a load of fluff, and he's like, no nonsense, no fluff. <laughs> he's still doing it as well. Presentation given by a multimillionaire on how to make money in history because all the other multimillionaires are lying to you they're lying to you by talking <laughs> bullshit ty lopez if you who's read ty books, lopez you're rich. lie you can read books all day you're not being rich as a lie these other fucking nerds think positive you'll be rich. <laughs> another lie if you mean i read books and i think happy money appears in my bank no it does not this is garbage cut in the garbage zip down to it with 100 points. Okay. 100 okay. Points my there we go. There we go. We've got clear. We know what's going to happen now. He's got a, a hundred point method to make get us to make money. Was it to make money or to become millionaires? I can't remember. Uh, get rich. Get yeah, rich. Get rich. Yeah. Get rich. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Okay. So he's got a, a, what a hundred lesson curriculum. A hundred lesson curriculum. Um, okay. So yeah. that's, that's probably. Probably about a year of content should be. It's eight hours. I think it's like eight hours or something. Eight. Oh right. <laughs> so they're like five minute lessons then. Bullet points. It's bullet because Lesson there's no one. fluff. There's oh, no shit. fluff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, let's let's see what's his first lesson then. To join the university, congratulations. Your worldview is about to change forever. Okay. I don't have a seatbelt on my chair, but I'm ready. If you have a seatbelt on your chair, put it on. If you don't, hold on tight. We're about to get it. Right here, Hustlers University. Lesson one. Okay. This is not a whiteboard for you motherfuckers. That's how hard I've worked on this university project. <laughs> Lesson one. Pause. Now, pause, 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 pause. Hold on. Oh, okay. 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 That's where I've been going wrong with Professor. Rich, bro. I need to get a fucking whiteboard. So, <laughs> so like no one watches it. You this take me seriously. This is teacher. this is literally how hard I've worked for you. I have a whiteboard. I don't know. If he was being <laughs> kind of, he was just being funny there, though. I mean, he does. He, do uh, yeah, he, that? I know. I, I think it's. I think it's kind of. I think this is what's brilliant about it. It's. It's both literal in that this is as much as i'm willing to put into it to, 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also at the same time kind of like acknowledging that it's shit <laughs> because you know i mean but it it's always it's always the same it's always the same when um when you see non-educators or people that don't really have a teaching background decide to do a course they especially the older types they always have the in whiteboard and a whiteboard marker remember the key remember kiyosaki all of his stuff was the same he had the whiteboard and stuff yeah. it's why why do people still do that it's 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 so entrenched in people that in order to teach, you need to have a whiteboard and a marker or a chalkboard or some chalk and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm sure at some point he's going to, like, turn around and he's, you know, going to put his back to us and do something on there. Yeah. And we know that, you know, like, that's the worst thing to do. You know, you, you should have... Well, yeah, because, I mean, he could, he could just, especially on video, you can just do it in post with an edit and it make a lot more sense. I know! I know, right? You know, like it, it's mm. it's not even a good Udemy course. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. we 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 sh we 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 shat on a lot of like um, YouTube teachers, but at least you know they had um, like as you say the post production. They would have stuff on the screens of examples, uh, showing you know um, explanations or what have you, uh, because yeah. you know. A visual why not have that visual aid um 
I mean, I, I mean, it really depends on our on the situation and what they're focusing on. Yeah, yeah, but but still, you know, why waste your time and waste the the viewers' time with writing stuff on a whiteboard when you can just go put it and you don't even have to do it. You get someone else to do it. Yeah. I mean, it could it could it could be also um, that people watching it like it. They like the image of someone with a whiteboard because it's like, oh, this guy's going to teach me something. You know, it's kind of like seeing the guy, seeing the guy with the stethoscope and the white coat. You think, oh, this guy's a doctor. Yeah, it's a cliche. Yeah. It's a trope. Whenever, whenever you yeah. see it, whenever you see, you know, like some sort of Ocean's Eleven, and they're like, oh, I'm going to explain the plan. It's either they they writing something on a whiteboard or they're trying to do it in the sand or something. It's exposition, but the, yeah. you know the. What people think is that is how you educate, uh, uh, you know, or it's the best way to educate. And it's not. When you're watching movies, that's the best way to give exposition about the, for the story. Yeah, right. Or, no, it's not the best way. It's, it's the yeah. easiest way for the writers. Yeah, we, I mean, we spoke about this, haven't we, reacting to kind of movie teaching and how, you know, a lot of it, it's sort of like platonic teaching doesn't exist in the real world. It's like an, an image. It's just a symbol of teaching that people have in their heads in pop, from popular media. Yeah. So it always looks kind of the same as well. And we were always surprised when we saw, like in a film, someone doing some actual teaching. Because it'd be like, oh God, wow, someone actually understands how to teach on the writing team for this thing. You know, it's, that's unusual. <laughs> Normally it's this kind of weird icon of teaching that doesn't really exist. But yeah. Should we... Uh, Carry on then. Oh, I was just going to say, yeah, one of the things that's kind of bugging me a little bit, maybe it's a personal gripe, is, is he's got his mobile phone on the table. Oh, yeah. You well, see that? It's kind of, you think if you're going to film your fancy 100 lesson product, which people pay, do you know how much people pay for this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I bet it's bloody loads. Do you think it's a lot? More than a uh, Udemy course? Wait, hold uh, on. You Hold on. He d Didn't he... Um... Wasn't the thing with the girls like a webcam business and stuff like that? So what? Why is this not better production? You know, does he not have like good quality, like set? I mean, like what? Where is he? Well, he's, it, it looks I mean, like he's, he's in his mum's basement. What, what's going I don't on know about that? Maybe maybe there's the 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 the, dark, the darkness levels on on your monitor or something. And also the the this video quality is quite low, but I think that's just the copy that we have. Yeah. Um, if you look at his set, actually, his set does look quite expensive because he's got a, he's got a really fancy leather chair, <laughs> and uh, there's wooden paneling in the background. Oh, he's that wooden paneling. Sorry, I can't make that yeah. out. Yeah. No, it's quite. It looks. It actually looks quite nice. But then, uh, but, then um, why why not have like like. It, stuff done in post you know stuff popping up on the screen and so you know surely if he's got like a a media production business that this is easy yeah. to done you know like, you know if he's got a guy that's filming this you know surely that guy can like edit some stuff in or you know whatever yeah uh, yeah yeah uh, yeah i totally i mean if he did like the webcam business it would it would make sense um so i've just had a look it's um his website says it's 50 dollars forty nine dollars actually um and um after uh one hundred and seventy thousand count uh students enroll the price increases to a hundred and forty seven dollars um and it says current number of students a hundred and sixty eight thousand eight hundred and fifty seven this looks totally fake to me i don't think that's oh real. it's um I what do they call bought... them not not a call to action it's uh a false time constraint. Yeah, false time constraint. A false time constraint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I use I use those with, with work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a it's a false it's a false time constraint. Um, By so, now, uh, forty nine dollars basically. Yeah. <laughs> these yeah, these basically. Persian rugs are on sale. <laughs> They're yeah. always on sale. They're always. Yeah. On sale. <laughs> Have you ever yeah. been to a Persian rug store that's not been on sale? Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, was that one in the UK? It's like DFS. The DFS sale is now yeah. on. It's the only time they have a Nobody understands what I'm trying to say. I'm going to try and articulate it. Okay. But speed is extremely important in business. Everything okay. that needs to be done must be done fast. Okay. It doesn't mean it has to be done cheap or shit. It means it has to be done. <laughs> people 
seem to conflate the two. Yeah, if you do something quickly, it must be terrible. That's not the case. When you're a professional fighter, you learn to punch. Your instructor says faster, faster, faster. It's so weird though. He says fight, fighter. Fighter. It's like he sa it, it sounds like he's from Somerset or something. Yeah, yeah no, like, that's what I mean. It's like, like Cornwall, like potato. Yeah. It's like half. It's like he says half the word American, and half the word like British. It's really but it, it's it's the it's the it's like, the, oh. the 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 acts that I would expect um, like a more kind of like a, a you know an uh, estuary you know received British accent you know like a little bit more like that's not regional. It's weird that it's regional because his American right. accent doesn't sound regional. It right. sounds like yeah. standard you know <laughs> like Midwest. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I agree with that, yeah. Um, and to be honest, it might be that just uh, the UK has slightly more well-defined regional accents just because of the longer history. Yeah, but you never, sure you know, you it. don't, you never really, oh, actually, no, well, I'm trying to think, like, Andrew Lincoln, no, he's, his, his British accent's kind of received, so what he does, Walking Dead, he does that kind of, like, Texan y like Atlanta accent, doesn't he? Oh no, we're, we're getting off track. Come on, come on, yeah, keep okay. on track, keep on track, keep on track. Learn to punch faster. You don't degrade your punch, you don't start punching like an idiot. You keep the same quality of punch, but you do it quicker. Now, nobody in the world, the modern world especially, and I'm going to say this a caveat that I've learned across my career as well, especially if you're dealing with creative people in any kind of they don't understand speed. Numbers people kind of understand speed. Creative people don't understand speed. And this is their, they have a strength and a weakness there. With creative people have something I don't have. They're very creative and they can see things I can't see, but it takes time. I'm the complete opposite. I want everything <coughs> done straight away now. But speed is super important for a business. I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, good. Whatever you're thinking of doing, whatever the business you're thinking of running, you need to do things quickly. Is this, this is like lesson one, right? This is lesson one. Is, oh, is, of is, 100. Is speed. Is speed. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, he's going to explain it. Oh, here we go. He's going to board. He's going to board. Okay. Sky, arrow, beautiful demonstration. Board work. Okay. Diagram. Even if its engine fails, it will continue to fly. If the engines fail, it will not fall out of the sky and instantly crash to the ground. It will continue to fly. Do you know why? No, it will glide. It has forward momentum. It's going forward. And that means the wings are creating lift, air is going underneath the plane. As long as the plane goes forward, it will not fall and fail. And a business is exactly the same. Uh, this is either too clever for its own good or fucking retarded. But I can't quite, not quite sure which at this point. <laughs> Key with business is to make sure you're always moving forward always producing content and always doing everything you can as quickly as possible okay while maintaining the quality do not conflate quality with speed you can do the same if you have an idea right now and you have someone you're working with let's say you need a new website you tell the company it's going to take two weeks no it's not going to take two weeks it's going to take three days i'm going to find someone else you can't do it in three days i'll find someone who can you can build a good website in three days people have unrealistic stupid time frames everyone thinks things take forever things don't take forever Things can be done quickly. I know, because I've done it. I've, I've pushed people or done it myself and seen <clears> what can be done. You know what I could do in two weeks? Me, as a man who knows nothing about web design, in two weeks I could learn web design and build a website. And I know nothing. So how the fuck can you, the guy who knows websites, take two weeks to build a fucking website? It's garbage. Everyone is slow. And being slow is deadly to a company for two reasons. One, the faster you get things online, the faster you start making money. Now, if you make money today because you were in a rush, okay. let's say you quickly push and you get it online today and you make money. That's one universe. And another universe where it takes a week and you get it online. That week of making money is gone. That money is lost. The okay. longer it takes to get something online, the less money you're going to make as a whole. If, if I start a company today to the end of my life, and start a company- That makes company, sense. I see what he's, I see what he's getting at. Money longer, it's going to generate more money. The quicker things are done, the quicker money is made. It's as simple as that. That's yeah, I think I think he is actually making a, a reasonable point. Um, and all, even, although it's crudely made, you know, even about people just getting off their ass and doing stuff. Because, yeah, I do think when you give someone a two-week deadline, <clears throat> what happens is 
they do basically nothing for 10 days and then they do all the work in like the last three days <laughs> um so yeah I but not not all be... not always because it's just some people don't have a very good idea of you know what they can do in what period of time but also you know there's a lot of people that like i don't want to bust my nut every single day to make yeah. something so someone else can earn money off my back you know i'm go yeah. i'm gonna you know i you know i could go and to a work at a call center and answer shit tons of calls every single day and burn out or i can you know be a little yeah. bit more leisurely with it because you know what yeah, right. it's it's yeah it's my job but you know i'm gonna have boundaries with that and you know it's kind of something that i i have is you know like with for me you can do something at speed and with quality but to be able to do that you need money you know so you have to pay for the speed and the quality so you know if you want to do something good do something fast then you're going to need more people you have to pay more people to do that or it's always it's it's always this three and with this three if you take one away you have to use the other two uh, the, yeah, the other right. thing has to come with it yeah, you know yeah. you, if you go if you take away uh, speed then you can do it cheaply but with quality if you take away um, quality you can do something cheaply and you can do it fast but if you want to do yeah. something with quality and with speed then you know yeah, right. you've got to pay for it you know they, there's always there's always a drawback mm -hmm. to it I, I think what he's what I'm gathering here is he's he makes good points but they're obvious points he's he's selling the elusive obvious uh, wow. he is he is basically the like uh, the modern day Napoleon Hill, Dale Carnegie. You know, he's he's selling these ideas that work, but you know, anyone could you know can we know this? You know, the faster you get your right. business going, yeah. the the sooner you earn money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah, there's an inter uh, there's, an inter there's an interesting role he's playing there, though. But sometimes is, need that is... because they, people need that because they can't see the forest for the trees. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, there's that, but there's there's also the idea of the the teacher as motivator, which I think you mm -hmm. know is quite an important part of it. Yeah. You know, a lot of people might say stuff like, "Oh, I don't need a teacher for it. I can like, do this on my own." And it's like, yeah, but you don't. You know. Oh, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to listen to audios in class. I can listen to audios at home. Yeah, but do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, know? no, it's true. Um, so the teacher is the motivator, and here he's he's kind of, you know, I don't know. I can I can kind of feel it a little bit myself. I almost feel like, uh, you know, I want to do some business stuff quick. I need to do it now, oh, fast, speed, right? Yeah, but how know. how like, how long is that going to stay with you? You you're gonna yeah, have to keep about five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have to keep re you know referring yeah. back to this to to uh, um, yeah. pump you up uh, uh, and stuff like that. When right, it, right. it's not, he's giving, he's selling you emotion. Really, he's oh, selling yeah, you the true. that motivation, and that's not what you need. You need discipline. Yeah. <laughs> ah, discipline. Um, <laughs> yeah, fair enough, Neil. I, I, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, it, the, this but... is this is entertainment. This is this is IP. Is. This is entertainment. Yeah. It, it, it's very funny, and you know maybe yeah. some people will you know garner stuff from this, and they'll, they'll take mm -hmm. it and do something with it. The majority of people I feel that will watch this will go, yeah, I watch this. I know about business, and then they will do absolutely nothing with business. Of course, or they'll, they'll, they'll do they will not get rich. They'll be like, oh, I know how to yeah, get rich, no, but uh, yeah, no, I do. Just but do. that's the same with all self development type courses, isn't it? Yeah, it's like 99% it of people just consume it and do nothing with it and talk about it. This was something that um, there's a term for it, isn't there? Uh, a keyboard jockey, a keyboard uh, jockey. Oh, yeah, that's someone, cool. I like that. Yeah, someone who, um, yeah, just who consumes all the material and then goes on the reddits and the forums and so on, going like. Oh, uh, oh! You're trying to get your business to take off. Oh, well, you have to do this, this, and this. Uh, and they're just regurgitating stuff that they've heard from Andrew Tate, but they yeah. don't actually do anything themselves. They're not speaking from experience. So you get this kind of secondhand, uh, kind of uh, 
mutated version of, of what the original kind of guru said, guru, um, and it's not based on experience. Yeah, and it's uh, something to be frowned upon, I think. I, I don't, I, I think we all fall into that kind of that uh, keyboard jockey trap sometimes. Um, yeah. But um, it's not a good place to be. You shouldn't, you should, you should speak from experience or at least give a disclaimer. Well, I've read about this, but I don't know about it maybe you should read about it right yeah. rather than saying oh what you need to do is this uh and it's like what i mean like <clears throat> i um uh, i i i know someone who's 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 having some weight problems at the moment and um and like he's you know he's he's reading all this stuff about like you know lifting and exercise and stuff like that and um like suddenly he'll come out and like start like you know i'll i'll say something I know. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to like you know work on a new muscle group or something like that, and suddenly he'll come out with all this advice. Yeah. You know, and it's like, uh, with all due respect, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm, I know you've read this on a, a, a spicy blog or something. Yeah. But um, you know, how about you go and try it first before you start advising me to try it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you don't know anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you just you just try to, you're just telling me what someone else said, but in kind of your version that you don't actually understand yeah. so yeah um and it, you're right it, it does breed it breeds that mentality that someone's going to consume this and be like yo i'm going to tell you guys about business now even though i don't have a business <laughs> yeah well you know I, I mean and that's kind of one of the 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 lines that we dance with because uh you know often that we we react to people we especially stuff like this you know like i i am not rich uh <laughs> at all you i mean you are rich but only in name and, uh, <laughs> and, you know, he is. And, um, uh, but we're for, experts for, on uh, education. Neil, yeah, so. that, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, <laughs> um, but, you know, he's an expert on being rich. And apparently uh, this is how you get rich. Uh, or what, uh, one part if, of it is uh, being able to throw a, together a video fast. course fast. What's what's your what's your suggestion at this point? Should we should we skip on to lesson two, or what would you like to do? Uh, I I want to see I want to see more teaching. Um, I I don't know. You know, yes. So should we just see where he goes spin, with this spin, one? spin it on a little bit, or no, no, he yeah. was doing he was doing board work. So how about we we see what he does with that? Let's ha maybe we can oh. comment on his board work. Shall I look for some other board work, or just carry on with this? No, nah, just carry on with this for a little bit. Okay. Starting a company, even if a company starting, is online, starting. is super important once again. I'll give you an example. Let's say, uh, I don't know, producing an advert. The faster you produce an advert, the faster it's out, the faster you get results. If you do it quick enough, you might be able to produce two adverts in the time that other people take to produce one. Now you have double the advertising that other people have. Speed. He's laboring this ad, point to ad, death, ad, isn't it? I'm getting bored of it. When him. I talk to people, people say to me all the time, I have a business idea. <laughs> A week later, I'll say, how's your business? I go, what business? <laughs> you have an idea, and it's been a week. Where's your fucking company? Where's your business? <laughs> it's been a week, you ain't done shit. People are lazy, people are slow, people are complacent, including you. Everything must happen instantly, quickly, fast, speed, attack. Hitler conquered Europe. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I thought he was gonna pause it then, and like hit. Like... <laughs> oh wow! Okay, well, that's, that's a good. Uh, that's a spicy great. analogy, right? It's, whatever you use, uh, whatever you, whatever you want a nice analogy or example in a class, just use Hitler. <laughs> it's a Hitler conquered Europe. I just, I, I, I want to know if this is scripted or this is coming out from me. It's it. not. It's if it's coming from his head or whatever, because, because some of this is. <laughs> It reminds me of like the Chris Morris, like a uh, brass eye, Alan Partridge uh, stuff. You know, yeah, like it's so, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so, so good. You know, like something like Charlie Brooker would write. You know, like what, you yeah. know, where they, where they, ah, oh, just yeah. No, mostly it reminds me of like the brass eye. Um, you, you gonna, know, I'm... Chris Morris and uh, <laughs> yeah. Alan Partridge. They, they oh, yeah, would say brilliant. Alan Partridge would say something like that. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think I, I feel like uh, it might be loosely scripted, but a lot of this I think is just coming off his, off the cuff. I mean, when that example, he just pulled it out of his ass, didn't he? You could even see him like struggling for it, and then he's like advertisement, you know. So um, <clears throat> yeah, he's definitely uh, 
he's definitely riffing uh, and he's he's pretty he's good at it but uh okay hitler etc <laughs> i cannot emphasize this enough lesson one speed is important nothing can be slow i'll tell you another quick story about this lesson. oh cut i used to run a company so what? i find out about a whole bunch of companies i ran Okay. He was like totally reading some of them, wasn't he? So they must yeah. have, he must have something. He just he literally like got that piece of paper. We had a jump cut, and then it jump cut. <laughs> no, it, it was really it's, weird, right? It's like it, it was weird. jump cut to him <laughs> reading, and then jump cut out. Yeah. So that oh that see God. that makes that makes me think that he was. Yeah. That they could have been more, but you know, like, why has he got not got another camera? Uh, it you know, like another of... point because normally you have when you have right. this stuff, you know, when they do it professionally, when you watch some sort of something on Coursera or something from an actual institution, you know, that they'll have like forward facing, then one from the side or something yes. like that, you know. <clears throat> so they can do it, they just chose not. To. <laughs> well, not only that, I mean, I don't know who did his editing, but that was crap, and um, it doesn't it go against this point of just because you do it fast doesn't mean it has to be bad quality. It's like, yeah, but Andrew, your video's dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> you got a whiteboard. It's not, it, it's but... not even, it's, it's, it's a standalone as well. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My work history is long and varied, but I'll give it to you a very short version. There was a job selling television advertising that required a degree, a degree in marketing sell TV advertising packages. It was cold calling. This is a long time ago. I was 20, 13 years ago, before email was a thing. You'd get on the phone, you'd call people up, marketing manager, hi, my name is Andrew Tate, I'm calling from uh, TriStar Television, I'm interested in da 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 are you interested in taking this brand on TV, blah, blah, blah. Old school sales, which anyone, if you've not done a sales job, and if you are going to look for a job, do a sales job, because once you learn to sell, you're going to be all right. And you're always going to be looked after by the company, because you bring the money I agree with that. So anyway, I went to apply for this job. They said I need a degree. I said, I don't need a degree. They're like, why didn't you go to university? I said, because I ain't got four years to waste in school. I'd rather have four years of experience out here working jobs. I'd rather have real experience and money in my pocket and learn the hard way than go to some school and sit around. And I chew gum and kick ass and I'm all out of gum. <laughs> I'll work for free for one week. Yeah, I mean, he's, he, does, he does sell that quite well, doesn't he? Yeah, um, yeah, no, that, it was a good, said, great like, line. And it's a bit, a bit, you know, a good point. You just said I'd rather, I'd rather work and learn the real experience than sit in the university and drink alcohol and do drugs for four years. And um, uh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, but if you're doing that at university, isn't that on you? Like on, you know, like when you go to university. Yeah, it, what, <laughs> it was, actually, it's probably why I didn't get a first. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> You're like, why are you going to university? You know, you go to university to learn. Um, but I guess many people just see it as like, I don't know, a rite of passage. I think it, 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 it does go back to what you said before, though, because you know, if if you go and, and you study medicine and you do your five years thing and you become a doctor, you know, that kind of does, you know, that is one thing. Uh, and if you're studying medicine, I don't think you can sort of uh, spend that much time. Um, smoking pot and playing video games but um i did philosophy <laughs> and um <laughs> well let's say that there is some scope in studying philosophy for smoking pot and playing video games and even some arguments for it but um because yeah no it's an experience i mean it ch that 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 time at university it changed me as a person and you know Andrew Tate would say, well, you've been wasted your time. Well, I mean, it depends what your life goals are, Andrew. And I, I mean, he's, he's, he, obviously he's talking about getting rich. So sure, it, it, in terms of getting rich, it, it was a waste of my time. But in terms of like other things in life, like, I don't know, what is life all about? And what experiences do you want to have? Uh, the, we wouldn't have met if I hadn't done philosophy. Yeah. Uh, because I was doing, I was going to do computer science. And if I'd done computer science, I would have done those three years, I'd have a lot more money. You'd be rich. <laughs> I'd have done those three years, <laughs> I would, yeah. And I'd have some computer job, and that would be what I'd be doing, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have met. Um, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gone to Spain. I wouldn't have become a teacher. 
you know, my whole my entire, entire life was changed by doing that philosophy degree because it, it just changed me as a person. I started becoming interested in different things. Didn't help me get rich. So from his perspective, absolutely right. Um, but yeah, there we go. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it would be just a, an agree to disagree situation. But it's, it's just going back to that point you were making that you know, university is not necessarily about learning how to be a millionaire. Um, it's no, it's, it's to learn something is to learn something and you know if there was a course that say learn you know a, a master's in how to become rich then you know i would expect that by the end of that course i would know how to become rich but uh mm -hmm. there isn't there's just uh you know there's nothing like that <laughs> you you gain knowledge or gain a skill yeah. if you want to be rich probably better to gain, gain skills i don't i don't think you de gain a lot of skills at university do you well Maybe skill as in you know like oh, I can't, skilly type stuff. yeah yeah, yeah. No, no i mean yeah. i mean skill as in more kind of like uh applicable knowledge you know like medical yeah. engineering computer oh, right, science okay. rather than just yeah. general knowledge you know like okay. you know history or philosophy yeah. okay general okay anyway yeah, well, yeah. I worked for free for a week and the game was gone. I'm a G. So there you go. <laughs> I work for I work for free for a week and the game is a job because I'm a G. I think G stands for grifter. <laughs> no, I thought it was gangster. No. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's more applicable to be uh, a grifter uh, than a than a gangster oh, right now. Yeah. Well, I don't know, you know, like uh, well, I, with, with the with the rec just... with the recent news, you know, it, it might be might be more of the case that he is an actual mm -hmm. gangster. <laughs> yeah. Is it isn't is it, isn't a grifter someone who just says anything to get money? Yeah, like they they pretend to have certain opinions to get money, right? So yeah, so I guess that could he he, he might not even disagree with that term. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. He, I don't think he, he's he's not defined in this course what a G what a G is, you know, what it stands for. Or, or maybe he's just, you know, he's big on the letter, you know, I, I'm a H. <laughs> mm. Maybe he's talking about his cup size. I don't know that he identifies as a G, you know, you know, I, whatever, I identify as Neil. Uh, <laughs> maybe you maybe you identify as uh, <laughs> the letter W, I don't know, whatever. I just spin around, I'll find some kind of weird board work like okay this. sure 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 uh, and let's uh let's just see let's see we'll just jump in and see what the hell's going on okay so cat cat are thinking about is how to spend money oh i need to find oh, out a makeup brand yeah. find some makeup and test it out and then get a logo and get some labels made and get a warehouse and and get a website and da, 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 da. spend 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 where's the money in where's the money this is a business. Where's the fucking money? You're talking about spending money. I'm talking mm -hmm. about making money. So as a hustler, you always have to be about making money. Money in is a business, not money out. The amount, amount of people I've spoke to said, I have a business. I go, what have you got? Oh, I've got this, and I've got a registered trademark, and I own this. And I know you've all watched Dragon's Den. You think this shit's important. With your registered trademark, and you own this, and you've got the logo, and you've got the labels, and you've got the product, and you've got blah, blah, blah. You're not making any money. No one's paying you. It's not a business if no one pays you. It's it's obvious, yeah. <laughs> it's circle jerk bullshit. It is much better to have this right better. and this wrong. The, well, it's obvious, but uh, uh, ELT under the covers hasn't like made loads of money yet, has it? Uh, so yeah, you but know. you know, like we're not exactly got a, you know we're not selling anything or uh, we, we're just basically an IP right now. But you know. well, that would be his point, though, wouldn't it? I yeah, mean, no, no, the thing it's is, very I, true. It's very true. I, I mean, I kind of disagree with it because I know so many. I mean, I watch so many YouTubers and who are, it's now their business, their you know their life. But you know, they were doing it for like seven years for free. Yeah, you know, just for nothing, and then you know they became big, and then it's a thing, you know. So, yeah, kind of, Andrew. I see what you're saying, but he's he's coming. He's coming at it from a very different kind of perspective isn't he he wants yeah, to he, he wants to he wants to get money he wants money he doesn't mm. care about the product or the service he just wants the money and yeah. whatever he can to keep the costs as low as possible while still receiving money 
is what he wants, right? I mean, I mean, look yeah. at the video. Look at the video. He spent absolutely nothing on this. Uh, yeah. And, you know, he's not even edited to be more concise or, or anything like that. Um, it seems wait, like there's a little bit where, so, yeah. where someone else comes in. Oh, okay. Of, okay. Kind Let's of see interesting this. seeing, yeah. Don't mix friends with business. Don't mix friends with business. Don't mix family with business. That's a lie. What? So the reason people say this is because people are uh, and they can't get along with them. They're not. They can't okay. get along with anybody long enough to make you money. But I guarantee you have family members right this second who can make you money. I guarantee you, you have a 15-year-old niece, nephew, cousin, brother, whoever, who knows more about computers than you do. Yeah. I guarantee there's a 15 year old out there with nothing better to do who knows more about Photoshop than you do right now. His stupid ass needs a job. <laughs> so you can start a company right now. You can call up all your cousins. One of my cousins works for me. My brother works for me. One of your cousins, nieces, nephews, whatever. Some 15, 16 year old who's in school and bored and say, we're starting a company. I'm going to make you a director. You're going to have 10% of the business. You're going to do everything I say. And by the time you're 20, you're going to be rich. You're going to be rich. <laughs> That's so weird. Are they, what points are you trying to make there? It's like, you've got to like boss your employees around and be an arsehole. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I, like, I, know he's, he, he, you know. I think he's been, he's trying to be funny. Right. Okay. He's kind of, and sort of showboating, I suppose. I don't, I, yeah. But what's he going on about here? It's basically, it sounds like he's advocating exploiting People your relatives. Are close to your relatives. Well, it's really funny because he's like, you know, his his lazy ass needs a job or whatever, talking about some fifteen year old cousin that hypothetical cousin that the viewer has, and then he's like, my cousin works for me, my brother works for me. He's just said like about ex yeah, basically like exploiting <laughs> younger family. And he's like, he's like, like, hold on, hold on, and, he, and he's going, you know, your fifteen year old cousin knows more about computers than you, so he's taking someone that's got skills and knowledge that he doesn't have and then putting them to work um but he's doing that for free because you know he's well he's not doing that for free he's he's putting a, an emotional tax or something on them right mm. so so basically what he's doing is he's saying that he's he wants someone that's got knowledge so someone that's maybe been to university done some sort of computing degree um and he's going to pay that person to do that job for him because that's what he needs. He needs someone that's got the knowledge and skills that he doesn't have to be able to do his business. Except he's not doing that. Uh, what he's doing is he's getting someone that's, you know, just because they're more natively uh, aware of computers because they're younger and, you know, they maybe have more time, free time to do with that. He's using what little knowledge that they have and exploiting that to earn money. Um, yeah, that doesn't sound great, to be honest. <laughs> For, when, when, yeah. You know, when, when you but, look at it, but... like, what's he doing? He's got, he's got someone that he, he needs knowledge, and he yeah. needs knowledge to be able to make money. He doesn't yeah. have that knowledge, so he's finding someone that has that knowledge, and then using that person and yeah. to make the product or service that he's trying to do. Uh, yeah, mm. what he's doing is he's he's not getting anyone that's got any actual knowledge. He's just kind of like pseudo knowledge and mm. he's not paying them. Uh, he's just kind of using his connection to them on an emotional or familial level to uh, get them to work for him for free. To be honest with you though, it probably is quite a successful business strategy and people have been doing that probably for like- Oh yeah, definitely people, yeah. definitely people um, do that. <laughs> Yeah, is it yeah. right though is it i mean, you know, I mean like... <laughs> like my, for example my my local sort of super, uh, supermarket near me right it's run by indian guy and you know he gets his kids doing stuff and his brother does stuff and you know that's it so it's a family business but also you know i'm sure that the the the, the rate of pay is you know special family rates <laughs> as well you know yeah um I mean, you so, know, that's yeah. what that uh, that's it's kind of like an old adage, isn't it? You know, why do you have kids? It's free labor. 
and it's not but it's not though you know like but it's not it's not (laughs) because think about it you know when we 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 start learning to plow the uh, plow the fields or whatever and you're like oh well i need i need more help plowing the fields i'm gonna have more kids but those kids to plow the fields you've got to plow more fields to feed those kids so it's all <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't. Uh, but neil you're saying it from a modern parents perspective i mean back in the day you know you have 15 kids and <clears throat> you know if half of them pop their clogs or something but is that is that the reason is that the reason you have family and friends to but but but, uh, no but i think in the past i think at some stage maybe maybe not all the time actually maybe not in tribal societies but certainly in industrial revolution time i think people really did uh or victorian era people really kind of saw kids as 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 more of a commodity yeah Um, (laughs) uh whereas you know now it's sort of changed now now people well a lot of modern parents now see kids as like themselves and they sort of live vicariously through their kids or some weird unhealthy psychological th- i know you don't do that but i know that some some parents do you know when they kind of change their facebook photo to a picture of their kids you know and stuff like that and it's sort of like their kids become their ego or something it's so i don't know anyway we're, I'm going but yeah he he, he he started to sound a bit dickens-esque you know like he's like a He's not yeah. awful, Dodger. What's the the guy that wrangles it wrangles oh, all the kids and puts yeah, them to work? Yeah. Yeah, I, know, I know what you mean. I, I, don't, I can't. I, don't re- know I can't remember his well name. Enough, but, yeah. but you know, like if if that's why you're having, if that's why you th- are having friends and family, you know, like just so you can put them to work. That's their value to you. They're a commodity. I, I'm not sure that's a great way to to look well, at again, the world. I guess it, but you I, know, I like guess... he, he. I mean, you could also see it in the way as like. Well, you know, I'm helping them because I'm making money. Mm. And then, you know, eventually when I, well, I'm not making money right now. I need to exploit you for yeah. free to be able to make that money. But once I make that money, I'm going to give you a portion of that money. Uh, mm. And I'm, but, you know, you, you wouldn't have earned that money if I didn't force you. But I don't know if you yeah. wouldn't earn that money because maybe you could have gone on and done something else. Maybe you've gone, and, gone on and done a computer science degree. Uh, mm. And you know, earn money in a different way. But uh, you know, mm. I've used uh, emo- emotional manipulation to um, you know get you to work for me for free. So we'll we'll never know. But you know. again, it's, it's, <laughs> it can all be justified by the fact that he preempted all of this by saying the only thing I care about is making money. Yeah, and it's yeah. like at the end of the day, if that is all you care about, then sure. But um, I guess the question is, you know. Is that the kind of person you want to be? Do you want to be someone who only cares about making money? I mean, I I don't. Um, you know, I. Um... Why would you even use fan- friends and family? Why would you not just um... because friends and family that if you they're not they're not stupid they're going to see that you're using your you know like connection with them to you know kind of exploit them. There's gonna there's gonna be resentment. Uh, I I would imagine. Um, mm. You know, you know, maybe there's not unless you know if you do become successful, but not, as you pointed out, not everyone becomes rich. Um, so you know, why not groom uh, random uh, strangers, you know, kids on the internet, uh, and get them to work for you for free? What it is is he seems uh, for okay from an education. I could do this. I could combine the both. I feel so. I think for him, it's all about money, uh, getting money in, uh, and you know, keeping the what he has to invest into making that money to an absolute minimum. That's definitely shown in the production value of that course. And you know, if he can sell this at a high cost without keeping that, uh, without with keeping costs very low, then he's going to make a lot of money. Um, you know, morals aside, that's kind of the thing. But what I think he's what what he's missing a beat with is that there are ways to produce something and also to produce something with val uh, to give value along with taking value. So right now, you know, like he talked about. 
you know, at the school you don't learn anything and stuff like that. He's literally done the same chalk and talk, you know, minimum effort that we everyone complains about when they go uh, when they go to school of you know like the teacher just standing there and talking and not they're not learning anything you know it's that passive learning but if we if he were to start to include active learning principles uh techniques and think about it in a way of how can i actually educate this person in the best possible way that they will get value and he will get value back i mean i know it's difficult with videos um uh, we've we've explored this to death you know it's easy with young kids because you can do like the blues clues or um dora and you know like you can do the call response you know like uh oh let's clap our hands and you know get them to clap out get clap their hands or you know can you see where blue is right now and get them to point and stuff like that so it's easy with little kids but with when you're older there, there's other ways other ways to do it like um okay so he has this uh forum thing what the um, what what was it called war room. the war room he has a war room okay so you have your video here you have a video you you do a uh, you do a call and response you do a prompt where you say okay i want you to yeah. come up with some ideas yeah. for a business right now write them down and get yeah. onto the war room right this second yeah. uh and put those those uh ideas in there in in that war room right this very instant and he, you know like as as they're doing them and he can he can just shout insults at them you know whatever he wants to do uh and then those ideas the previous people that are in the the war room that gives them something to talk about gives them something mm -hmm. to say hey th th <clears throat> this is a good idea this is a bad idea uh and then you know there can be other people in that war room that could be like oh I'm gonna I'm gonna help you with this idea. I think we can yeah. we could do something with this, um, or even just kind of like getting them to do produce something with their learning, uh, you know, that he can then take and use to yeah. promote the the course or use to uh, you know as materials um, and include it within within the course or or do something. So what. Yep. what's what he's what by getting students to engage and do something and give it back to him he can use that to produce better quality more content and um you know he can earn more you know like it might not, not might not be the case that you know like he'll get some great ideas but you know they people get to talk about this and get to actually implement uh, these things that he's talking about um or it's promotional materials or whatever you know like he's just thinking about the bare basics and if you're smart you can provide value and you know get value get value back and you know i i see it all the time um i think a, a good example was uh i i knew a teacher that would um get student you know like they would do uh, practice songs with a student and they would get them to draw the song and then they would take the pic take pictures of all of their drawings of the song and then what they would do is they would record the students singing the song and put all the all the pictures to the song on that and they would watch the video Ooh, next week nice. as a review and then that's that teacher nice. as can then show that to the next you know year or next different Ooh. class and you'll be like this is what we did and then you could keep building that and then you've got then you've got a bank of material that you can bring out and use in your lessons that you know has already worked and is already quality you can use it for promotion you know it's he basically he's playing chess and if you and we're playing go you know we're, we're on the next we're, we're the next level in in terms of thinking that it's it's not just you know getting money in you can do that you can do you can just do that but you know you're basically a hustler which is what he's teaching so i don't know what i'm going on about but it doesn't have to be that way you can you can have both you can have everything that you you want you can have the money you know well pff. Yeah, I, to be honest, I, I'm I'm losing track here because you know, like, yeah, like I don't quite, I don't have I'm money. Not quite <laughs> sure about that last bit, because the thing is, the thing is, I'm not sure that he would make more money 
if he used a better pedagogy because his whole thing really you said it as chalk and talk i would actually say it's more dancing monkey yeah it's entertaining yeah. it's you know it's like i want to consume it i want to watch it because because yeah because it's like for one reason or another i can't what when's he when's he going to bring up hitler again when's he going to like start abusing an employee again when's he going to like i don't know say something funny you know it's just all he just does all these outrageous things and it's like constant stimulation you know i want to i want to kick back with a cider and some crisps and you know watch his stupid videos and pretend i'm learning something that's what he's selling and uh, i think that does sell that's the thing whereas i think if you actually have a good course that teaches people stuff i don't think it might not sell as well as that really you know i mean i've done courses that you're talking about where you watch videos and then comment about them on forums and have activities and stuff i've done them um, you know my, my my teaching diploma was a bit like that it was mainly online apart from the uh, teaching practice mm -hmm. and um you know we had forums we had to do activities together and stuff you know and it, it was good you know but uh, I don't think anyone running those courses is a multi-millionaire, you know. So, um, yeah. and they probably don't make as much as Hustlers University. So, um, you know, I don't so, know, man. I mean, then, yeah, from, it's from, like... from a teaching perspective, we have to say, well, we don't like that. But from his perspective, and maybe even for some of the people who, who just want to consume and be Tate fans, it's pro it might be good as well. And for people who are really clever and want to make money, and rather than listening to what he's saying, they kind of copy what he's doing. Yeah. Then maybe it'll work for them as well. Yeah. It's it's kind of sad. It's kind of it sad, sad. It, 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 in a way yeah. because imagine if you're a teacher and you're like, I'm not I'm not doing well with my classes. My my students all seem a bit bored. Who's Who's really uh, engaging right now in the world? You know, Andrew Tate's uh, really popular, uh, <laughs> the, the old Tato. And, um, well, you know, rather than me focusing on trying to teach some stuff, well, why don't I just, you know, tell some jokes, you know, like, and, you know, like, do the course book and, you know, tell some jokes and, you know, maybe, maybe put more emphasis on my jokes and, you know, actually teaching or finding ways to get students to to learn or to you know enhance yeah. my pedagogy or whatever it's it's a lot easier to just you know as you say be a dancing monkey got the kids mm. i mean i mean that was that's the whole point of the dancing monkey you play a couple of songs the kids go home happy do they learn english no do they learn mm. whatever topic no but then if everyone's doing that then what the fuck's the world going to be like, you know? <laughs> Everyone's going to be like Andrew Tate for one, so... Uh... Everyone's just selling <laughs> stuff to each other and no one's... You know, but but that, yeah. that's the thing then. So, like, if everyone does that, it's, it's not going to it's not gonna work, you know? Mm. No one's going to be... If he's, if he's promoting this to uh, young kids and they're seeing this and then those young kids are like well you know who is he going to be able to if he's if his nephew saw this or saw someone that was doing something similar to this and then he went to his nephew and be like oh look, i want to make a website and uh you know uh you're you're going to come work for me i'll give you 10 percent." and that kid's already seen something like this he'd be like no i'm not you know shit mm. <laughs> i know i've got the knowledge i'm just going to do it myself and what's he going to do well, yeah. find someone else to exploit but mm. yeah i i just yeah yeah it's it's sad it's it sales it's it sales and it's all it's all emotion and you know what has people learned to the is have you got have you got the website up there well the website probably not a good idea but is there, is there any uh testimonials of people that have done hustlers university that are now rich um i would imagine website, i would imagine that um, they are i'll tell you what i can get i can do i can try going to trust pilot <laughs> um, well for one there's not a lot of reviews there i don't know if this is it's kind of interesting so andrew tate has a section 
Andrew Cobra Tate. Co is that him? Yeah, Cobra? yeah, that, that was his oh, fighting right. name from what I've... What? Hold on my notes. Um, yes. So him as a life coach, uh, he's got 4.8 stars. Um, but that's a, stars. Life, that's a life coach. What? How do you define all the, all, that? I don't know. But all the one stars say it's a scam. And let's see what the five stars say. They say he's a real G. Grifter. Um, like they say, success is learnt. Education for mind, body, and spirit. Okay. If but success is learnt, U he's not taught me. <laughs> and then Hustlers University, strangely enough, only has four reviews. Really? And um, uh, and it's got 2.7 stars. They claim the teachers will be millionaires who have done well in their fields. In reality, it's just a bunch of broke 16-year-olds teaching you the most basic PowerPoint presentation ever. Well, it's not even PowerPoint. He couldn't even be asked to do that. Yeah. Uh, then, there's a, then there's kind of a, a, a troll one, which is, obviously isn't real. Someone just saying that they hate Andrew Tate. They don't, they don't even claim to be a customer. Next one says, kind of average. You're promised a great deal, but most of the info is online for free. It's worth doing it for a month or two and then get out. Two stars. And his name is Real G. <laughs> well, what, what's your take uh, on this? Darren says, basically a pyramid scheme. Um, yeah, pyramid scheme. Don't know about that. I think, um, I think it's uh, personality-driven... Um, money machine for andrew tate uh, i think it's entertaining i think people get hooked on it i think people want want to see more they want to buy next product they want to see andrew tate do funny things pretend that they're learning and becoming a millionaire at the same time i think it's a breeding ground for keyboard jockeys as we spoke about before mm -hmm. um i uh, i don't have any further comments from what you've said on him as a teacher i think i agree with basically what you said I don't think that good teaching is necessarily his objective, although, of course, he'll never admit that because his objective is making money and coming out and saying, I don't give a shit about teaching. Uh, it wouldn't be wouldn't go well with his objective of making money. And uh, yeah, that's it, basically. I think um, I think we can judge him as a teacher and we can judge him morally. But in terms of his personal success. I mean, yeah. Well, you know, He's good, successful. Good, good for you. But as you've said, uh, is that the world that all of us want to live in? The, the world of Andrew Tate's? Uh, no. But on the other hand, do I think he should, you know, should be hounded off the internet or whatever? Well, I mean, allegations aside, because I don't know anything about that. But um, do I have a problem with this existing? Not really, but not as a teacher. I mean, just think, yeah, if it's just... It's just entertainment, isn't it? People are just paying to be entertained and whatever. I suppose yeah. there, there is kind of a thing you could say that he's kind of duping people because he's claiming that they're going to learn to get rich and they're probably not. Um, but then it is called Hustlers University. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it, it's it's literally all there. He, he 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 literally says it like, "Yeah, this is how much I've got. A, I've got a, a whiteboard and a marker." This is how much effort I've been putting in, <laughs> you know. It, it, and it's Hustlers University, so it's like oh, it's like going to uh, into a situation that says I, you know, going into a scam, knowing that it's being a scam, and then getting scammed, and then going, wow, huh. and then not even know it, then going, yeah, I got scammed, but you know, yeah, it was a good scam. <laughs> I just don't have any money now. Um, no, I just yeah, yeah. It, it's um, I for if you're kind of into Hustlers University, what I would say would be like he from the beginning of the video he talks about speed, uh, and then he talks about um, getting the money in. So it should be pretty apparent to you that uh, how well he's done with his teaching because. I would have thought within a very short period of time, mere months, weeks even, that you should be rich. And if you are not rich, then maybe you should be questioning the teaching 
in Hustlers University because mm. uh, it's not worked. Good point. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, yeah. I, I think there's going to be a lot of um, regret from uh, people that kind of buyer's remorse. Oh, yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. Yeah, buyer's remorse. Um, and if you want to get some more bias remorse, then uh, <laughs> you can donate your money to ELT under the covers, ELT under the covers at gmail.com. And uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, but more importantly, let us know in the comments below what you think about uh, Hustlers University. Um, I, I mean, I, I'd, l I'd love to hear your if you've done it, your experience. Did you learn any? <laughs> oh, please. Yeah, if you've if done you, it, definitely if you must done it. comment. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us. Is he a good teacher? Did you learn something? <laughs> Come on the show if you want. Yeah, love it. Love it. Maybe. Okay. Uh, what? Could, how could we sign off? Stay G. You're broke! <laughs> You're fucking uh, poor! Um, yeah. Proper G. If you're looking for more information uh, from myself, uh, you can go to teamteacherchina.com. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of materials, PowerPoints that you can use instantly in the classroom. We've got a Team Teacher China YouTube channel where we have videos teaching you how to use those uh, materials. Team Teacher English where we put those materials into a, a video form for self-study. And Team Teacher Baby where I take my experience as a teacher and put that into parenting. And go to YouTube the Conference Professor Rich to see some English teaching you can catch me weekly live streams on Oxford online English YouTube channel oh and also you can you can do a YouTube search for POG space UK and you would get my alpha version of my new gaming channel which actually just have some trial content on there at the moment you can email us here at elt under the covers at gmail.com if you have anything you'd like to contribute to the show smash that like button share and subscribe and, and watch 100 of the video and don't exactly. click off thank you <laughs> bye